at along the shoreline in the New Haven area. People are also taking steps to protect their property. Stay safe ahead of Irene. News 8's Mark Robbins live in East Haven tonight with more. Mark? Guys, a very busy day, a, a beautiful day to, to get a lot of chores done. And I'm standing here uh, in the East Haven area uh, and uh, near Cozy Beach. And uh, I don't know that I'll be able to stand here come tomorrow, certainly on Sunday. But uh, it's a beautiful uh, late afternoon here. But people very busy all along the shore, New Haven, East Haven all afternoon, uh, getting a lot of things done, cleaning up, trying to protect their property. We saw some unusual sights. The city of New Haven brought in some impressive equipment to shore up some of the weaker, low-lying areas here on Morris Cove. Well, I have a crew coming here at 5 o'clock to help me lift all these oak loungers here and the Adirondack chairs, and everything's going inside the house. The glass patio tables and the cars are taken off the property as well and brought to higher ground. Beth Bernardo is a lifelong Cove resident. She's experienced many storms and plans on sticking things out once everything is inside. Unless there's a mandatory obligation to get out, I, I will be here. I, I was here during Gloria. I was here in the 50s. Over in East Haven, the attitude is similar, although cautious as everybody tries to stuff the last of their summer stuff inside. What's your gut feeling about it? Uh, <sighs> I don't know. Not sure. I mean, Gloria was, uh, back in 85, was pretty bad, and I remember the, the destruction that happened in the backyard of my house at that time, and uh, so hopefully nothing like that, but they're saying it should be pretty bad, so we'll see. So people on dry land are trying to stay that way and protect their property. While on the water, the Coast Guard has its plan ready to take effect for safety and protection. We will uh, 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 execute a poor condition. We'll, 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 we'll basically uh, stop movements of large vessels, and we would advocate for small vessels to be in that same situation. And uh, people that are dealing uh, and on the water tomorrow, it's going to be shut down much earlier than the roads situation on dry land. The captain tells me probably around 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon is when they're going to shut down the waterways all up and down the coast of Connecticut. Reporting live in East Haven, I'm Mark Robbins, News 8.